Let's begin at the center of Tesla's ecosystem, which is the vehicles, the sexy models, and soon the Cybertruck. This is where customers get exposed to the Tesla ecosystem for the first time, or in other words, feel and experience a Tesla product. Once a customer experiences a Tesla, it's really hard to get back to a gas car. Another experience customers will notice is the savings they make. There's no annual service for any of the Tesla vehicles, which saves thousands of dollars annually. No fueling needed as home charging brings the cost down about 70 75% and if customers who switch to Tesla insurance, they will also save up to 40% annually. Now Tesla insurance isn't widely available yet, but it's expanding exponentially in the US and soon globally. To add to this ecosystem, Tesla has a huge network of superchargers over 45,000 and counting globally. Although a bit more expensive than home charging, Tesla owners also benefit from the superchargers. But the most addictive and important feature about Tesla vehicles is the full self-driving software. This is such an important part of Tesla's ecosystem because this software has the potential to revolutionize transportation forever in a safe, efficient, and convenient way. If this part of the ecosystem doesn't come to reality, then Tesla vehicles loses competitive edge. But if, or should I say when successful, RoboTaxi will be a huge part of the ecosystem. Tesla knows that eventually electricity bills will increase as more and more customers buy EVs. So Tesla has added energy generation as part of their ecosystem. Customers and or businesses can install solar panels or solar roof onto their homes or businesses to generate renewable energy to be used within the house, home, building, and the electric vehicle. By generating solar energy, this lowers energy costs, therefore charging your electric vehicle or home or business or building at a much more affordable rate. Maybe sometime in the future, Tesla may add other methods of energy generation like wind, tidal, and dams, but solar is the most practical at the moment. Now, generating energy is one thing, but storing it is another. In order to use the energy generated in an effective and efficient way, it needs to be stored, and this is the last part of the ecosystem. Through Tesla's power, Powerwall, Powerpack, and Megapack products, homes and even countries can become energy independent. Homes can completely go off the grid and countries don't have to rely on other countries on energy sources, therefore achieving energy independence. And lastly, you can control this ecosystem through the Tesla app, which will make it extremely easy and convenient to track, control, and mobilize each individual product which is pretty insane. But looking at the entire ecosystem, you can see how it all works out together. And once all working together, the cost of living day to day becomes much more affordable. And that's something that everyone can live with, which is why once you're in, it's hard to get out.